All right, so here's the first part of the programming tutorial for the Palalu Mini Maestro. So as you see, I've got it hooked up to the computer. I've got a power supply as the first one. Uh, I've got to still install the switch. This is for the lights and left and right servos. So what I've done here, is, as you can see on the computer screen here, is I've added, let me see if I can move this a little bit closer. What I've done is I've added uh, a few things here. As you can see, uh, there's button, eyes, uh, left and right servo. So let me just run over the tabs real quick here, and I'll show you um, how I've done that. Errors is the second tab. Uh, that's not really too important until you start programming stuff. Uh, channel settings. This is where you're going to do a majority of your uh, programming um, or setting up. So uh, as I've labeled this one button. Uh, it's the, the mode is input. You have three different modes. You have servo, input, and output. So uh, the button is an input because obviously you want to be able to push the button and have it to tell the Palalu chip to do something. Uh, second is the eyes. <clears throat> now the eyes are, are set as output, obviously because you want to put light out. So number th uh, three, or number two here because it starts at zero, is the servo right side and servo left side. So you want to set those to your equivalent um, settings there. So normally what happens is with the Palalu chips, um, they don't want to burn out your servos. So they use a standard signal range. And the standard signal range is at 290, let's see, 992, sorry. And the max is 2000. So what I've done is I've gone through and I've actually kind of tested the servo make sure that um, I can do a full motion movement and I've lowered it down to 704 and I'm raising the other one up to 400 or 2416. Now I'm gonna go ahead and raise this up higher just to show you what happens when you do go past the servos recommended uh, limits and it, you always want to hit save or apply settings which is down the bottom corner of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the status and turn these channels on. Servo right and left. So if you hear, let me see if this one. What will happen is if you go past the recommended um, signal length, what will happen is you'll actually start getting a buzzing. And that's the potentiometer pushing against the, you hear that there? That's a buzzy servo, you don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that one off. All right, go back into channel settings and change that. So let's go up a little bit here. Apply your settings. Go back and then try this again. So you know it's still buzzing, so I'm gonna take it up a little bit and then see when it stops buzzing. And it looks like it's about 761. So I'm gonna go ahead and re readjust that. Um, I'm gonna go to 768. Because we want full motion, but we don't want to wreck the servos. So if you listen now, there's no, there's no buzzing going on the servo because it's actually set to the proper thing. So each server is different. You're going to have to adjust it according to what each one is and go from there. So that's the first part of this tutorial, basically. Um, all these other ones are kind of important. Sequencing is going to be important too later. Uh, and then obviously the script. So, But the sequence, what you do is you set each one of these uh, to where you want it to be, and then you go down to the bottom down here and click Save Frame. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'll show you real quick. And if you go over to uh, Sequence, there's now something called Frame 1. Now, what you can do is actually set it so, let me go the other way here. And I'll turn the lights on. Now, th this board is resistored on the inside so the lights are a little bit dim. 
uh, what I need to do is actually go in through and, and remove the resistor from this since it's already got a 220 ohm resistor, I believe, uh, 220K resistor. Um, so we're going to go ahead and save that. I just reversed the servo side. So um, as I mentioned before, with, with the servo tester, they move both servos at the same time. Uh, this one, you can set them different different ways. So you can go one one's left on the slider, the one's right. And I'm going to go ahead and save this frame here, and I'll show you what it looks like. So um, sequence. So now we have frame one and frame two. So one's going to be open, one's going to be closed for the servos. Plus the lights will go out. So we'll see this here in a second. Play sequence. So um, I could do, I could run one frame sequence at a time and it'll kind of show you what it does. Um, but basically it's running between each one of these and the duration is in, is in milliseconds. So um, I still have to add the, but the button and then uh, the programming and scripting um, will actually come a little bit later, but what you can do is you can actually go and uh, copy sequence the script and then you have your code there. And then uh, once you do all that, you can compile it and then add it to your chip. So that'll be in the second part of this tutorial. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, it's kind of a lot to take in. Um, unless you have the stuff in front of you, it's kind of hard. I understand that. And, um, but I can do the best that I can to answer the questions that you may have. So uh, this will work for a lot of other things, rocket gauntlets, uh, back, end, back parts that uh, open up, like the, the jet and rocket boosters in the back. Uh, and then you can control some other things as well. So, um, But anyways, if you guys have any questions, as I said, leave them in the comments down below. I um, would appreciate if you would like, like the, uh, the video if it's helped you. Um, share, subscribe. And as always, guys, do your thing. Thanks.